welcome to the holiday vlog Woo! <laughs> we are going on monday it's saturday today we're going on monday to a place called brimfield and that don't tell ask me where it is shropshire Shrop, shropshire that's where it is it's yeah it's around there <laughs> ludlow have you heard of ludlow well it's all around that area and we're staying in a one bedroom cottage in Brimfield. Five minute walk to a pub, always a winner. That was Mark's um, criteria. <laughs> I had to find somewhere that was a five minute walk to a pub. I went, all right. <laughs> um, so today we're going to pack. Now the reason I've not got makeup on yet is because it's 29 degrees and that noise you can hear is my fan. I need that on, I am melting. Hyperhidrosis in the morning is enough, but 29 degrees too, it's not allowed, it's not allowed, but it is going to be cooler next week for holiday, thank goodness, but we are going to take the fan with us. So, I am looking at these lists um, that I made, do you remember these that I laminated? Well, I made a bit of an error, I started ticking things off crossing things out, adding things, and then realised I was using a Sharpie, not a dry wipe. So these now won't come off. <laughs> so, hmm, I, I think, hmm, I'm going to probably have to redo this one. But anyway, never mind. Um, so these are our cases. That's a bag that I've just already been dumping things in. So you can come along and pack with me. I will show you what I am taking. I just want to show you the bits that I've got so far. I don't know if I've shown you these already in a previous vlog, but I do apologise if I have. But I got this little cool bag from, I think it was B&M. Yes, it was B&M. It was £2. And I thought it would do for our lunch, because we're going to take our lunch out with us and just have, buy an evening meal. Um, I am still trying to be good with my healthy eating i'm not calling it a diet i don't believe in diets i believe in healthy eating so therefore i'm gonna have a few treats don't get me wrong on holiday but i'm still trying to watch what i eat so this will be good for that <laughs> mark i treated him to a litre bottle of jack daniels because he was running out at home and we like a drink when we go back like after a day out so on holiday that is <laughs> not all the time um so i treated him to that because it was on offer in tesco's from 33 pounds to 22 which is a 10 pound saving that's huge isn't it so that was really good mum gave me these so i thought i'd just put those in <coughs> then we got um some biscuits these are mainly for mark because obviously i want to carry on with my healthy eating but yeah mark will enjoy those in the morning with a cup of coffee i reckon um we got a few snacks because you know when you've had a drink you just want a little snack these are for mark because he loves these and these are the ones i like salt and vinegar we did get some chocolate but what i said to mum well mum suggested it actually is that i'm worried because i would just eat it all <laughs> well i wouldn't eat it all but you know i'd eat a lot of it so mum said to get a bowl and just put a few crisps and like maybe one or two squares of chocolate in it when I'm having a snack and I think that's a really good suggestion. So that's what I'm going to do when I have a snack. These are my favourites. I love these and they're good on calories. This is my first aid box that I've uh, put together. Oh, it hasn't got our tablets in yet because we still need them until Monday. Um, but I have done the tablets. So we've got the sun cream. I've got two just in case one runs out. Uh, so we don't have to buy any more. I've got, this is the Biofreeze. This is brilliant for your back. And like my right side of my back is really bad at the moment. So I'm taking that. I've got my support. So I've got my naproxen. I've got some plasters and some pain relief. The one thing I did need was um, Singy Cream. What do you call it? Uh, if you cut yourself, like Savlon or germaline that sort of cream because i sorted my first aid cupboard out as you saw the other week and um 
had to throw them all away because they're all out of date. So I do check your dates on your creams and things. Um, so I do need to get some of that. But yeah, that's all of the bits and pieces. I remembered a black sack this time because do you remember when we went to Warner's with Mark's family and I forgot to get a black take a black sack for washing. So I've remembered that this time. And also, um, this is a power charger plug for my phone because I've got a lead but no plug because on our sofas we have the USB charging point so I don't have a plug <laughs> so I had to buy a plug because I don't know if there's going to I doubt there'd be USB charging points in the cottage it looks quite an old cottage <laughs> With if, this is Mark's rucksack um, so he can take like the picnic and stuff with us and I don't have to carry it then um, because it will cause pain if I do. So now we need to choose my outfits. That's Mark's hanky. So I've, I wore this skirt yesterday, just a denim skirt, and I absolutely loved it with them new Asda tops. And we're only going for four days, four nights. So these are my new pajamas. So I've got those, so that's that done. So let's have a look and be sensible at what we're going to choose. Um, so we've got the, the skirt by New Tops. There's two here. I've got the stone coloured one and the black coloured one. And the pink one I wore yesterday, that's in the wash. So I need to um, take that, but I can put them there for now. I also want to take my new pink dress. Where did I put that? Is it on this one? Right, hang on a minute, let me get it out and I'll show you. A little longer than a few minutes later. Right, okay, I've been sorting out. So, <laughs> this is what I've decided to take. So this is my new white cardigan from Sainsbury's. Um, so obviously I'll be taking that. I have got this um, white strappy top from Asda. I've got one pair of shorts because I know it's not, it's not supposed to be really hot. Um, but it's a bit creased, I know. This is where I've worn them. Um, but just in case it does get hot, I've got a pair of shorts. This is my new dress. Um, I don't know if I told you, but I took the blue and white one back because it didn't fit nicely. But this one fits nicely. So I've got that for a, a day. And then I've put my jeggings in just in case it gets chilly. Because you just don't know in this country, do you? Um, with a warm cardi as well, just for the evenings in case we want to sit outside, you know. Then I've got my new pink dress and my other Asda top in the camel colour. The pink one I will put in, but it's in the wash at the moment. And then I've got my denim skirt, so I can either wear my denim skirt, my jeans or my shorts with all of the Asda tops, depending on the weather. Um, I also have put two pairs of chub rub shorts in. These are literally chub rub shorts. So you put them on underneath your dress like I've got today. These ones were from Primark. They're my favourite because they go right up under your boobs. Um, I don't know where these ones were from actually. Let's have a look. Doesn't say. But yeah, I get them from all over the place really. But these are brilliant so that it stops your thighs chafing as you're walking you know and it sucks you in as well so even better um, so I've got two pairs of those and then what I'm gonna wear this is what I'm gonna wear on the journey so my new long green skirt I got from uh, Primark my black as the top and I'll take my black cardi just in case I need it in the car if I get a bit chilly or anything and I'll just wear my, my black Birkenstocks. I'm going to take one pair of um, Converse type shoes but um, this will do nicely for the journey because it's very very comfy. I mean all my clothes are comfy but yeah that will do nicely for the journey. This I forgot to show you. I bought this when I went to town with my mum last week and it's from the charity shop. Look how beautiful this is. It cost me £5.50. <laughs> £5.50. It is a size 20, but it's elasticated waist. So if I do lose weight, I can still wear it. I think it's absolutely stunning. 
so I think I might take this in case we go for a nice meal somewhere I don't know what we're planning on doing for meals it depends on me how I am how the day goes but I'll definitely pop this in just in case we go for a nice meal because it is so beautiful right I finished the packing um, for now anyway and Mark and I are just going to go and surprise Holly where she works and have lunch there because we thought that would be nice to uh, break her day up a bit so let's go and have lunch I'm starving welcome back welcome back <laughs> Mark's lunch look at the size of it he's got bowman terrific and then I've got this massive chicken salad nice finished our lunch well I couldn't finish all mine so I've brought some home we're just looking for the log roll now because we need to replace all the log roll in the garden Want that longer one would be taller one would be better, wouldn't it? Ten nine nine now. This is what we're looking at. Ten ninety nine for the longer ones. Oh, one point eight meters. We we'll have to work it out, won't mm. we? Yeah, they probably could. Because the small ones don't really do a lot, do they? No. Probably need a good six seven of them, I reckon. Right. 60 or 70 quid plus 20 percent off yeah we shall see right what else do we want That's just right. the bike i've seen a spinning bike um i'll show you it looks really good nice, they? yeah they are nice the old barrels 30 pound oh, yeah they are these are the wind spinners yeah they go round look that one top, top one doesn't it they both go around. These ones do. Yeah. It's a bit of a mark there though. That one's quite good. Right. So <laughs> we're back from lunch and I've just done all the animals' food into food bags and labelled them. So Poppy has literally, or Holly, got to grab one and throw it in. So hopefully that will get done. Right, it's later on in the day now. Let me show you where we put our windmill bike. Here we go. Here it is. I love it. I think it's so such a clever design. <laughs> so when it's windy, they will be spinning round. I filled up all my bird seed ready for the holiday so the birds can be fed. Um, and Mark is cooking with gusto. <laughs> We're only having burgers tonight easy, though, aren't easy, we? No, Just burgers. Oh, one's broken up. One's fallen in half. Yeah, that's right. That'd be yours. <laughs> well, I've got one there. you got two then. Still fall from lunch, to be fair. Yeah. Plowman's. That plowman's was massive, wasn't it? Quite easy to go about tonight. What? I'll force it down. I couldn't go without dinner. I'm starving. I'll force it. <laughs> so here's our setup on the table I'm going to put the coleslaw back on there I took it off because it was in the sun so that's Poppy's water we've got coleslaw salad Ooh. how long have we got potatoes in? about another 10 minutes <laughs> you cooked the burgers too early mate just get them out. <laughs> hello happy Sunday fun day it is going to be 32 degrees today Although not as hot as when I spoke to TJ yesterday in America, it is currently 43 degrees. He can have that because I said last year when we had the heat wave it was 40 degrees and that was unbearable. But what we said is you have air conditioning in America, we don't here. So, you know, we just have to open the doors and windows. I'm sweating already, look. I've just done a bit of cleaning. Mark's cleaning the bathrooms, you know, cleaning for the burglars when we're away, that sort of thing. Um, I'm just having a sit down until we're gonna go and see Mark's mum and dad for a cup of tea, well, probably not, cold drink, I reckon, and a chat before we go on holiday tomorrow. Um, and then I think Holly and Louie are popping around later. I'm just gonna sit and answer a load of your chats on the last week's weekly. <laughs> So um, I'm going to do that now 
but yeah it's very hot hello welcome to monday sorry i didn't film um anything else yesterday but there was nothing else to film so <laughs> we didn't really do a lot did we yesterday no we literally i sat and read my book you sat and watched something on the telly and that was it and then we watched some vlogs and that was our, our day yesterday we went to see mark's mum and dad holly and louie didn't come to see us because holly didn't feel well i think she's got too much sun so um yeah that was yesterday but today we are on our way on our holly bobs the sat nav saying two hours and 40 minutes um we are going to Brimfield, which is in Shropshire near Ludlow so that's our destination and we are going to have a stop at some point aren't we for something to eat some lunch somewhere Mark's hoping for a Greg's <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah we'll stretch our legs have a cup of tea all the good stuff and then make our last journey there we're just listening to podcasts at the moment got some sweeties got some humbugs and some worthers nice <laughs> as displayed by Mark <laughs> so yeah my dad would make his last for, for three hours yeah he would Mark's dad will have a sweet and it will last for hours and hours I don't know how he does it Freak. mine would last for seconds <laughs> anyway um, we shall check in with you when we stop in probably about an hour and a half something like that Right, we stopped at services. I've got a tuna milk panini, but it had sweet corn in it, so I had to pick it out. I've got like this bucket. Look at the size of this tea. What did you go for? Sausage? Sausage, bath and coffee. Look at the size of it. It's huge. Right. Ugh. Getting back in. Finished our lunch. Finished me vat of tea. Yeah, it was big old, big old bag of tea. I it? literally had a vat of tea. Got me healthy fruit. Didn't have a cake, did we? No. We shared some crisps. We were very, very good. So, yeah. <laughs> it might not last the whole holiday. <laughs> no, you've got to have a treat. You've got to have an occasional treat, haven't you? But uh, we're doing well. Sens we're doing well. Sensible choices. Yeah, exactly. Right, so how long we got now? About an hour and a half. You can plug it in now, because I'm not having the okay. podcast. Yeah, about an hour and a half. Right? Hour and a half. We can't um, have... Mark's phone plugged in and listens to podcasts so you can do that because we're going to have a break from podcasts for a minute we've listened to a few we just have the radio for a bit right we'll catch you when we're there wish us luck right we're here it's half past two so let's do you a little guided tour Mark's just going to get the stuff out of the car while I'm doing this so this is the garden We've got two little chairs there. Um, come into the the cottage. It's called Moore's Cottage. It's very cute. I'll put the light on for you. So in here is the the kitchen, um, and she's left us these bits and pieces with some prosecco and a letter. Oh, it's chalkboard. We can write her a message. Um, then this way is the lounge with. The hardest sofa you've ever sat on in your life. It's like a rock. <laughs> um, got a little telly and we've got loads of leaflets over there so we'll be able to look at them later. And if you wanted to sit to eat, there's a table there. And then we come through here and here's the only bedroom. Um, mattress feels a little bit hard but we'll see how that is later we've got birds above our head <laughs> got a little table each um one lamp oh let's look out the window i haven't looked out the window yet it's like a bit of a jungle <laughs> so there's no garden that side um got drawers oh there is a hair dryer that's good there is a hair dryer um and then we come in here pictures on the wonk <laughs> to the bathroom which is quite big as you can see it's got a nice stand up shower um, another little mirror to do your makeup so yeah 
That's that's our little Moore's cottage. It's cute, isn't it? Yeah, it's nice. Cute. Right, we've had a rest. We've uh, sat outside, haven't we, Mark? We have. Even though it's very cloudy. I was just saying to Mark, I'm really cross that I didn't pack more warmer clothes because, <coughs> I mean, it's been warm, really hot at home. So I packed hot weather clothes, but I have packed that one pair of jeans. So I think that's what I'm going to end up wearing for the full week <laughs> and just put different top on each day. <laughs> but it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Um, if that's what I've got to do, that's what I've got to do. And we're just now, Mark's getting the scooter ready because we're going to walk to the pub. We're going to have a drink, play a few games of Uno and then have some dinner there. So that'll be nice. And then we'll come back later and watch Love Island because we're sad like that. It's our holiday. Do what we want, can't we? Um, we also need to FaceTime the girls later and show them the, the cottage. Right. <laughs> Welcome back, welcome back. <laughs> it's time for Uno. Uno. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to thrash you. Dirty. <laughs> Mark won that one. Only for a fluke. All mouth, isn't ya? Because he was being nasty. All mouth. <laughs> <laughs> right, there's my hand. Bye, dear. I swear that I'll stay here with you. She tells me <laughs> she can't moan now. Look, past four. Don't listen to anything she says. <laughs> Who's she, cat's mother? You. Oh. Hi. Right. So how many games was it? Four to you four, and three, three to me. Yeah, all right. I'll let you have that one tonight. <laughs> Good morning. What day is it, Mark? Tuesday. It's Tuesday, isn't it? It's Tuesday. Didn't sleep the best, but you never do, do you, in a different place? Plus, the bed is like a rock, and we've been looking for something to put underneath, but we can't find anything. Um, we're just gonna enjoy a bacon sandwich with a cup of tea, and then we're gonna head out to what castle is it? Oh. Croft Castle, and then Hereford Town Centre, where they've got a cathedral. So we've got lots planned today, we're going to take a packed lunch, weather's not brilliant, but it doesn't matter. And um, yes, yeah, so I'm going to go and enjoy my breakfast. So we're heading out, but these, oh, two pigeons, these are the lanes that you go down to get to our cottage. And it's literally one car width, so if someone else comes you've got to reverse back. But yeah, it's pretty though, isn't it? Pretty. That must be the entrance, do you reckon, to the castle? Yeah, We're going this away. There's the actual castle, and that's the little church next to it. It's not open to 11, is it? So. Mm -hmm. Second hand bookshop and stables. Uh, now I've got everything in my bag I think that I need. We're in the walled garden now. Which is massive, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, I wonder how many gardeners they've got. It's huge. Wendy would like it here. Mm. 
Look at all these are. Oh, these. They said about apples, but. No, these are grapes, I think. Look. Yeah, I think they're grapes. castle in the distance there. We're just waiting for the castle to open and then we'll go in but I probably won't be able to film because it's a national trust and I know from when I went with mum and dad recently that they don't like you filming. Look out for goldfinches and linnets. Linnets? Linnets, I don't know. Feeding on the dandelion seeds. Right, we're playing quoits. I've scored zero. Yeah, what's Mark gonna score? Nothing. What's she got? Middle? Five. Five. Jammy. Beginner's luck. Look at this tree. This tree reminds me of something you'd see in Japan. I've never seen anything with that flower here. And then it's the apple orchard. Right, we're in the stables now. Where a few horses have been. Feeding a driver. Should make it his business to see that these horses get the usual amounts and not a bit less. Gallons of water, it's just full of leaves. 32 pounds of manure produced daily by one horse, blimey. They poo a lot. Like trapdoor there, Mark. Maybe it was the fire thing, because they had to have a, a thing system, didn't they, for the castles? Asked by a Mark Lord, bringing my scooter to me, because <laughs> my legs are done. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> meet me. <laughs> Thank you. Service with a smile. We've stopped for lunch and we've got a little friend that a little robin. Do you want some bread? Do ya? Yeah? This is the um, little bag that I bought from B&M. So I've used that. Mark's got chicken and bacon Caesar salad. I've got a roll. We've got a protein bar each. Some fruit and some snacker jacks and he's just gone in to get a cup of tea that's the tea room in there right we're at Hereford now and we're gonna go inside the cathedral I don't know how much it is it didn't say on the website but it looks amazing look at it look at it we do like a cathedral don't we Mark <laughs> York Minster was brilliant wasn't it
look like another candle. It'll probably be another 50p. I can't reverse on here, can I? Beep, beep. <laughs> What's over here? Look at the windows. Look at that one. That's amazing. That's like the ocean. This is the heater. <laughs> it's massive. Oh, there's another tomb behind me. Oh, there's loads of tombs. They're all tombs. Wow. Is that the uh, pipes for the organ? Oh my goodness, look how far it goes up. <sighs> tombs literally everywhere. South Choir Isle. Those heaters there. It's got a crown on top. Why is there a crown on top? Fancy fixing that heating, Mark? <laughs> a lit tomb. I can't even see what it says on the back. Look at the window there. I made it. I made it. The craftsmanship on the like all the stonework is amazing, isn't it? In the middle, we could go for a coffee there if you want at some point. They're cute, aren't they? We're in the town centre now, we've come out of the cathedral, which was amazing. We've got to look for something for the girls, aren't we? Yeah. Got me little meat meat. Lots of Tudor buildings around here, isn't there? Very nice. Big ball. <laughs> Pigeons seem to like it. JD Sports. Oh, we could go in there for pops. Looks really pretty down here. This is the old market town, did they say? I think, yeah, uh, old market. Yeah, the old market. The old market. It's so, really pretty. We'll go and find We need to find a present for Holly now. <laughs> We've got a nice uh, top for pops, didn't we? Yeah, we did, yeah. And now we need to get something for holes bowls. They've got TK Maxx over there actually. That might be a good shout. Yeah. She likes her labels. Like you. <laughs> Not so much nowadays. No, can't afford it. <laughs> oh look, Pops, Nando's, just what you want. <laughs> oh, look at that bike. Look at that. Huh. I've had a really nice day so far. I would say that Hereford Cathedral was better than Croft Castle and it was free. So, if you're coming this way, do that. Come into this little bar called The Stables for a drink before we find somewhere for dinner. But, it's all about racing, I guess. Because <laughs> yeah. they've got racing on the telly and they've got horses everywhere. So, but it's very quirky. Cheers. <laughs> right, we're back at the cottage now. I thought I'd just show you what we bought today. Not very much, but I'll show you the bits we have bought. I've had to take my lenses out because one of them's really, really not feeling good. So, glasses it is tonight. We're gonna have an hour or so here. It's five past five. And then we're gonna go out and we're gonna try the Roebuck in for dinner tonight. Right, so the first thing I got was from the works. <laughs> this canvas to recreate a picture that I loved at the pub last night and I'm going to try and paint it myself when I get home. So I bought that. Um, we bought Poppy a sporty top. I can't really hold it up, hang on, let's put you somewhere. 
put you there. There we go. That's what we bought Poppy. Thought that was very her. That's her present from the holiday. And then Holly, we bought these really nice green trousers. I thought they were very her and I love the colour. It's emerald green. That's the colour we had on our bridesmaids, wasn't it Mark? Yeah. And on your suit jackets. Yeah. Let's put that on there. And dare say we'll get some more bits tomorrow because we're going to Ludlow. Ludlow Castle tomorrow, Ludlow Town and Market. And there's a bridge there as well. Let's put this in our bedroom for now. But for now, we're going to chill out for a bit and then go and have some dinner. Right, we've just we just finished our um, meal, and it was so lovely, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, that really nice. we ended up booking for Thursday night as well there. But um, <laughs> there were a lot of older people in the restaurant. We felt quite young. And you know where you try and listen in to different people's conversation. <laughs> you can't help it, can you? And there was this couple that were obviously very wealthy and she ordered a salmon, f no, she had sea uh, bass. sea bass, no, she didn't want potatoes, she wanted salad and sea bass because, you know, can't have carbs. And then she proceeded to eat her husband's <laughs> chips, all right, off of his plate. And then they were talking about their latest dinner party <laughs> and, and she was going so so how do you think we're going to serve the mushrooms and the husband went in a bowl <laughs> <laughs> no it was really funny and then we had four older ladies didn't we and they all asked for um was it beer zero? Lager zero. And they came back and said, We're all out of lager zero. And she went, No, I just have water. No ice. <laughs> it's just so funny listening to all these conversations, isn't it? But there we go. Right, we're heading home now, back to the cottage. We FaceTime Poppy and Holly. Have a couple more drinks, sit and watch Love Island because we're sad like that. And <laughs> well, actually, we didn't get to watch Love Island last night because we were FaceTiming Poppy the whole time. But um, she gets like a bit, she doesn't like being on her own, does she, in the no. evenings? So that was fair enough. She just, we just had her on the FaceTime the whole evening, and uh, that made her, gave her a bit of comfort, didn't it? So if we have to do that again tonight, we will. And uh, yeah, we've had a good evening. We didn't play any games tonight, uh, but we will probably tomorrow. We're going to have something at Ludlow, aren't we, tomorrow? So, so yeah. we can play some games then. But it's been a good evening listening to everyone. I just look, I always look so red here. I look, well, I look red everywhere actually, but. <laughs> good morning. Happy Towel Wash Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> Even though I'm not washing towels because I'm away on holiday. Um, I'm not good today. So I woke up this morning and felt very sick. And that's not unusual for me because I suffer with nausea all the time anyway. And then I really needed the loo. And I'm not going to go into too much information, TMI, but I couldn't get off of the toilet. <laughs> And at first I thought it was like an IBS attack because as you know I've been really good with what I've been eating lately and been eating very very clean and drinking very very clean and the last two days we've been good like we haven't had cakes we haven't had ice creams or anything like that but I've had like yesterday, what did I have for breakfast? I had a bacon sandwich. Well, the bacon is, you know, 
fatty. And then for lunch, I had a cheese roll with a protein bar and some fruit. And then, but the evening meal was all breadcrumbs. And then we shared some fries as well. And I just think it's too much fat. So I think there's that, which has contributed to it. So I've got to stop eating crap again. And also, it could be like a little bug because I feel, still feel sick. But I said to Mark, it's weird, it's like a hungry sick. So I don't know whether I'm hungry or I feel like I'm gonna be sick. I don't know which one. But either or, I've, it's not, it's quarter past 10 now and I've only just got up and showered. Um, Mark's gone off to the local little shop to try and get me some Imodium. So at least we can go out and I've got my scooter. I'll just sit in that. I mean, you can see from my eyes. My eyes always show you how I'm feeling and that's how I'm feeling. But Mark's not here at the moment and I just want to say, I sat in bed and sobbed this morning because I was like, I've let him down again. It's always me, always me. We went abroad on holiday. I got a sickness bug, ruined most of it because then he got it. We went away in a caravan and I had a flare up and he still went out with the girls but I was you know he's obviously worried about me and most holidays we go on I'm ill at some point and I just I know the Warners one was good the Warners one you know it was only three days and and I wasn't doing clean eating then and things like that so my body was used to it but yeah it's just I just feel sorry for Mark just what he's got to put up with with this <laughs> I know I've got to put up with feeling like it but I'm more worried about him and him still enjoying his holiday because he works his butt off let me tell you he is a grafter and I appreciate him so much that I want him to have a lovely holiday and we had the best day yesterday and now I don't want to go and ruin it by not having a good day today but again I don't want to go out having to think where's the toilet or I feel like I'm going to throw up you know but I'm, I'm still going to go out and hopefully the emoji I'm going to take some paracetamol as well that will help but it's just a bit of a a real post here for you a real snippet because I know a lot of you think how can we go away with fibro and and all our problems we can go away but it doesn't mean that you're not going to be ill on holiday and it doesn't mean you're not going to have flare-ups on holiday but hopefully like I said to someone in the comments once the endorphins that are released the happy endorphins will help with the pain um, and then the rest of it you just have to deal with if you right, want. I've taken some Imodium tablets <laughs> we waited a while to make sure that I wasn't ill anymore and now we've come into Ludlow which looks the most beautiful, pretty town I've ever seen in my life with a wonderful market because we've just driven through it and a castle. So you're in for a treat, as am I, as am Mark. I feel starving hungry, like starving, but I'm just scared to eat. I'm really scared. <laughs> right, Mark's trying to find out about parking. What does it say? It's free without time restriction with the blue badge. Oh, even better. Right, let's go. That's amazing. I love it. They can sit in the windows, Yeah. It's very pretty. Thank goodness for my little meat meat today. But we can't get up on the pavement at the moment, so we're driving in the road. No. There's the market down the end there. If you can see that so we'll go there as well there's lots of little shops and things along here how cute are these little cats and dogs in teacups two pound twenty they're really cute huh. nice earrings pottery that vase is lovely isn't it Oh, look at those. Look at these. How 
Mm. Big old mugs, aren't they? Yeah. Nine pounds. Ludlow pottery. Isn't yeah, pretty? they're nice. Loads, loads of nice stuff here, isn't it? Over there, the castle. Not big for a bit. <laughs> this is a bit hard to hold on to the camera and the skirts are on this cobbles. <laughs> oh, we should have gone through the middle mark, we've yeah. missed the market now. Well, I'd, yeah, <laughs> I always come back through there a bit later on anyway. I do like the mug, it might be one of those later. It'd be nice to have some Ludlow pottery. Shall I go on this road? Go there, can't you? Go, go, go! <laughs> it's less bumpy. <laughs> Can you come back through it later, are you? Yeah, sure. Okay. Heading in towards the castle here, ancient chair. Yeah. With the cannon? Yeah. Big old cannon. It's actually a wall around this one as well. We were just worried then because we saw the steps, but there's a ramp. Oh, that looks nice, Mark. A little outdoor seating area. Just take that a minute. Yeah. They know the fact about the back window. I don't know. They, years ago, they had to pay window caps. So, they used to make fake windows, so it looked good, but they didn't have to pay the window. Well, that was It might not have been where the castle was staying. That might have been where yeah, moat round as well. Which is what, over there? Yeah, where the yeah, steps are. Area. The North Range contains some of the finest medieval domestic buildings in Britain. Started in the 1280s and finished in the early 14th century. This was a palace fit for a man of Roger Mortimer's enormous wealth and power. foot now because it's too hard with the scooter on the on the rough ground look at this <gasps> so this was the chapel look at this the 
Stairs in there. Can you see that? Oh wow. Can we go up them stairs? Might be able to. What's through there, Mark? Someone's coming through there. Can I have your hand to help down? It's a bit of a drop. Thank you. <laughs> Still a bit what? Yeah. We we'll go through here. Right, Mark's just, do you want to, no, you've, you've just been up there. I was going to say you could have there's taken them up there. There's nothing really up there. Uh, but there's you. nothing for me to hang on to, so no. I wouldn't make it. But they look cool anyway. <laughs> cool steps. Ouch. So the, these juts here, here, these are for a floor, aren't they? A floor would have been resting on there. That's a fireplace, isn't it? Yeah, three, three levels. Well, I bet some birds could have been those uh, archways. <laughs> My little scooter out there, look. <laughs> it's just abandoned. <laughs> oh, there's a handrail there. I might manage it then. I said, look at this wood. How long have these doors been here? I'm touching all this history. Thousands and thousands of years. Yep. I'm just trying to concentrate where I'm walking. The pigeons over there. <laughs> They're just walking around in circles. <laughs> the pigeons are walking around in circles. Look at that for a view. Here, isn't it? What would this little room have been? There's a fireplace there. And this door as well. It's huge. I don't know if I'll be able to sit on it or just. That's it. 
queen of the castle. <laughs> this is the hardest part of the castle now. Right at the top. Walk around here and go even higher, right onto the territory. We see Nick anyway. Ludlow Town Market. Spot in a minute, in a little scooter. One of the old rooms, you can see how many floors are missing. And the two extra floors missing there. Just so big. Mark's just managed to go all the way upstairs, as you've probably seen and I'm going to watch it back later when I edit this on Saturday so I'll be able to see what was up there that's a good thing about vlogging if I can't get up there, Mark can <laughs> and then I can watch it back on here right there's a bit over here we have missed floor service is not good for scooters <laughs> right we're in another bit now and we have no idea where this is but it's amazing it's got a little hole in the middle so that must have been for something mustn't it to escape oh, like cooking, maybe cooking. that looks like it's been blocked up yeah that looks like it would have been an open door at one point mm. but yeah that certainly looks like that could be for cooking yeah are you going to go up these stairs yeah, let's go up some more stairs. Go on then. Get me steps in. Be careful, Mark. Come back. Be careful. Yeah, I don't want you to fall. Hey, you don't want to break your camera, that's what it is. We can go to the top. Let's have a look. Trip up, not. I can see light. It's just a little platform. I've got up here. Cool. They're running in steps. It's raining, it's pouring, the old man is snoring. <laughs> right, I'm so tired. We went, oh Ludlow, and it was just beautiful. And we went back to the castle, um, we bought a guidebook and we sat and we looked at all the different places and I read to mark the bits. So that was really good. Um, and then we came away because it started to rain. We went to Leominster, I think. Dump. So we didn't get out of the car. <laughs> and now we've just come to the local little Asda. Um, so that Mark can get some dinner to put in the oven later. Because I'm feeling really rough now. 
so I think I'm going to go back and get into bed for a bit maybe have a little nap and um, then probably sit on the sofa later and watch some telly with Mark I just I'm so cross because I just feel like I've messed up another holiday. I know it's not my fault, but it's just so frustrating. So frustrating. Anyway, we've had a nice day. We went to the Ludlow Castle, as you saw, and you came with us. So I bought, oh, there was this shop. I can't remember what it's called now. She gave me a card, hang on. Velvet Fern, because she said they're going online. So there's all the details. If you want to pause, um, the video to get the address and yeah they're going online soon but the shop was beautiful and I got a candle um, holder and a bee hook for my mum and dad for a present so nice I could have spent so much money in there but I, luckily I didn't spend too much <laughs> um, but yeah I'm done in now I need some more paracetamol as well but I take tablets with food, and because I'm not eating at the moment, that's tricky. I might have to get Mark to break them in half for me. Anyway, I'll catch you later. Good morning. What'd you say? Welcome back. Oh, that's a bit of a feeble welcome back, yeah. wasn't it? <coughs> <laughs> it is Thursday. We had Thursday all day today. And we are off to a place called Berrington Hall, um, which is another national trust. I'm feeling better today, which is good. Um, had a bit of back pain this morning, but other than that, the sickness feeling, oh, thank goodness that's gone, because that was the worst thing ever. Um, I even had my travel wristbands on all day <laughs> to try and stop the sicky feeling, but yeah, much better today. So, had a piece of toast, cup of tea, bliss. Um, now we are off out for the day. We're gonna go Berrington Hall first, and then we'll probably get some lunch there and then there's a farm shop Ludlow farm shop that we want to go to because we're trying to get um, Louis some of this local beer that Mark had in the pub didn't you on the first night uh, is it just Ludlow beer is that it's Ludlow gold Ludlow gold um, so yeah we're gonna try and get that at the farm shop and they've got a garden center attached so of course we're gonna go around there um, I do need to pack at some point because obviously tomorrow we have to leave by 10 um, but apart from that we'll see what the day holds really we'll need some dinner later as well uh, Mark just had a, a was it a microwave meal or an oven meal yeah, just a, yeah, meal last like night that, yeah. and I just had one piece of toast um, which was quite nice actually so yeah don't know what that was about yesterday but at least it's over today that's the main thing. Right, let's go to Berrington Hall. Here we are at Berrington Hall. What was that, £28 for two of us? Yeah. It's quite steep, isn't it's it? Expen most expensive one, yet, isn't it? Yeah. Actually, for, was that £14 each? That was the same for Croft Castle, yeah. Yeah. It's like any of these places, isn't it? They charge for you to get in oh look what games can we play later bowls bowls what's the one up there oh god don't think i'll be up to rounders <laughs> this is because like audley end where they had those bowls in the dairy didn't they yeah. but they had a lot more in audley end house tour. That was good wasn't it? Yeah, it was, yeah very good. There's some costumes in there that you could dress up but it's a bit odd for that today. <laughs> and in each room there's a little knitted sheep and I'm yeah. not sure why. Maybe because yeah. we're in the country. Just... Don't know. <laughs> yeah, it was very good. It was uh, interesting reading all about the, the Corleys who lived there. The last lady Corley that lived there lived till she was a hundred. 
because it got... Yeah, it was the 1970s, wasn't it? Wasn't that long ago? Yeah, 75, something like that. Yeah. But the National Trust took it over in 58. Yeah. But she still lived there until she died at 100. So, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Definitely have a sit on Moa, yeah. Yeah, need a sit on Moa. I'm just going to have a little wander around here. I think there's another second hand bookshop. It's got the basement. To go. Got the basement to go in. Probably with a kitchen in there, Yeah. And then check out the tea room. <laughs> right, we're going into the walled garden now. We just visited the uh, basement, which was very good. I've got some photos, I'll try and put them in for you. Gate. Little greenhouse. Sundial. In the vegetable garden. <laughs> it said in the basement we just went in that they were self-sufficient, weren't they? The only thing they brought in was tea and spices from when they went to London. This was not their main home, was it? It said no. this was their holiday home. Their main home was in London. No. <laughs> sweet peas. This is the potting shed. Mark was looking at the uh, sitil mower down the end there. <laughs> Date. We've just been to Ludlow Farm Shop, which was really lovely, wasn't it? And we got um, a couple of presents in there. We got Louis some Ludlow beer. <laughs> um, and then we've decided to have an early dinner instead of a late lunch in um, Ludlow, where we went yesterday. It's so beautiful there, and they've got this gorgeous pub that is overlooking the water where the Ludlow Bridge is which is also a what do you call it historical piece um, so we're going to try and get a table there have some dinner and then we might go back into Ludlow because we loved it so much and I might try and get Mark's phone screen fixed because it's a bit broke well not the screen but the screen protector and we might go into the tea room at Ludlow Castle because you don't have to go into the castle for that and sit outside and have an ice cream because we haven't had an ice cream yet you can't have an ice cream on holiday haven't you <laughs> so that's the that's the plans at the moment right this is the Ludlow Bridge and up there that's where we're going to try and get a table because you can sit out on that veranda there so, hopefully, because we're starving. Right, we've found it. Here we are. Here's our table. <laughs> Just ordered. Mark's going to have fish and chips, and I'm having chicken Kiev. Which sounds delightful. It goes right up there. Can you see? Very nice. 
but we're taking our life into our own hands here trying to get to the middle of the bridge <laughs> She didn't seem that impressed with the tip, did she? <laughs> <laughs> so that's... Oh, I see. Yeah, that's just where we were eating, up there. Look at that. <clears throat> oh, I can hear something. Oh, is it? <laughs> There's duck. Oh, and ducklings. We've got a feed for you in the car. Fat little good it is there, they said. Yeah. It goes all the way down there. <laughs> Here he comes. With the goods. Ice cream. <laughs> it's Friday and we're going home. <laughs> Well, Mark has literally got to go home, unpack and repack because he is going away tomorrow with Poppy. They're going to watch, is it the Women's Football League? No, a friendly for the World Cup. Oh, a friendly. I thought it was, I thought it was the actual World Cup. No. It's a friendly before the World Cup for the Women's Football, which Poppy is obsessed with. So she bought her and Mark tickets for Father's Day to go and see it. It's in Milton Keynes and then she bought him a football top and her for his birthday but gave it to him early because his birthday's in July <laughs> and obviously he needs it for the match so yeah they're doing that tomorrow so I've got Saturday to edit this because it's going to be a long one but I'm really enjoying I'm enjoying I'm going to enjoy looking back at everything we've done so yeah that's my plan for tomorrow. I'm obviously washing and stuff. But yeah, we're gonna go and have breakfast um, as a last little treat. And then we'll be on our way. It's about three and a half hours home. If the traffic's good, cross your fingers, because my hips won't like it otherwise. <laughs> um, so let's go and have some breakfast and buy a little cottage. We've actually start, finished where we've started our holiday. <laughs> oh, phone. But this picture up here, I've taken lots of pictures of it because I'm going to recreate it. So watch this space. <laughs> but we've just got our tea and coffee and we're waiting for our breakfast. Mark's made a friend with a local dog. He's gone now. He's, he's got, gone. He's got a better house for the link now. <laughs> <laughs> right, it is about half an hour well yeah about half an hour away from home but we have got to stop off to get some dinner for tonight it's been a long journey isn't it about four hours they yeah. said about four hours on the thing we've had a few hold-ups but it is Friday and you get a lot of traffic on a Friday and it's coming this way we said when we were going the other way this way was busy so we kind of expected it but it's been a long old journey we had one stop we went to mcdonald's for a cup of tea and coffee and a wee stop um and now we're nearly we're nearly there we're on the home stretch um so we're going to finish the vlog here because when i get home it's going to be go 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 of unpacking putting washing on sorting out the animals etc etc so we hope that you have enjoyed our little holiday, holly bobs, and oh, now we've got another traffic jam. <laughs> Wonderful! <laughs> and uh, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you've not done already for future videos. And I will see you all on Wednesday for oh, I think it's a national trust with my mum and dad. That would be fun. I haven't edited it yet, but I will do. Take care. See you later. Bye.